Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really happy to present you one of the biggest projects I've been working on since I started this channel. It is called uh, the Goose Cove Estate and this house is located in Brindlefield Bay on the 64 by 64 lot. Um, this is a big lot with a private access to the beach, a huge gate entry and yeah, this is probably the most beautiful lot uh, in this world. So, as I just told you, it is a big project because I've been working on this house for like one week and I spent about two or three hours a day on it. Because every time I was building it, uh, I had new ideas of rooms or things to build. So, every time I wanted to finish it, I had a new idea of how to make it even bigger and better. So. Um, before we talk about the house itself, um, I would just like to tell you about the name of this house. It is called the Goose Cove Estate. So I was looking for a really uh, romantic name that was um, reminding of the seaside. And I just didn't know what name I could use. But then I remembered I was reading a book at this time. It, it is the book which is called The Truth About the Affair Ari Kebert. It's a um, Swiss, yeah, it's a Swiss novel which was really a bestseller in the world for a few years ago and I started reading this and it's all about a beautiful mansion located um, near the ocean which is called Goose Cove. So. I found the name really cool, but it's not meant to be accurate uh, with the novel because in the novel, this is not a mega mansion. It's not a luxurious mega mansion as I'm building it right now. But I found that the name was really cool, so that's why this house is called Goose Cove Estate. Um, so about the house, I found the inspiration as usual on Pinterest because. Um, the main of my inspiration come from Pinterest or Instagram and this one come from Pinterest and I think I'm not sure but um, this is yeah Hetsy built a house in quite the same style and I think she used the same picture as I used because there are pretty much um, similarities and yeah so probably she used uh, the same picture as me on Pinterest but I tried to make it a bit different, uh, for example, for the back side of the house because we don't have any picture of it and I just had to invent it. So the front side is pretty accurate uh, compared to the picture, it's quite almost the same. And yeah, it looks so grand, so luxurious, I love it. And for once I used uh, white roof thing. This is a color that I never use for my roofs, but I think it fits pretty well this house. So the style of this house is a mix of Ampton style and Ampton style actually. <laughs> no, it's not a mix of two styles, just Hampton style. And in real life the house is located in the Hamptons. Um, and if I remember where it's you can buy it for uh, 38 million dollars if I remember well. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, 38 millions. So if you have 38 million dollars, you can know what you can buy. Um, I personally don't have 38 million dollars, so all I can do is build it in The Sims 4. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun, believe me. This house was really a lot of fun. It's been quite a long time since um, I didn't have didn't have such an inspiration while building a house. So the house, uh, I don't know where to start because it is so big. Um, the exterior, yeah, let's start with the exterior. The exterior is so cool. Um, it is really big and this is what I like. What? Oh my God, sorry. This is what I like with this lot because it is a 64 by 64 lot. But it's actually located in a big estate, so it's totally closed. No one can come and there's this big gate at the entry and 
there's a driveway, driveway with fountain and it's absolutely closed like it's 64 by 64 but it's even bigger because all around the environment is bigger and you have this direct access to the beach which is super cool so the exterior is um, really detailed I believe this is what I tried to do at least I really wanted to have many details many roofing levels um, and I think it makes it even more realistic there's a lot of flowers bushes trees everywhere just to make it really lush and yeah a nice place to stay in during the summer because yeah this is not my main house this is summer house only sorry um so yeah i'm just joking um as you see there are many different entry doors so wherever you are in the house you can go outside and just enjoy the garden of the, or the beach and yeah because you know the big mansions usually don't have only one door there are many doors you can access from wherever you want so this is what I tried to do here and there's this big swimming pool which is not the only swimming pool because you will see a bit later there's a inner pool in the basement and about it uh, I, I, I tried to build a two-level um, swimming pool uh, in the basement but it was not possible because once you built already two floors in the basement you can go more down you can go down this block so um, I recorded this and then I saw it was not possible so you won't see it in the video because uh, I changed it and it's only a one level uh, pool so yeah you will see it in the screenshots but not in the video itself so this swimming pool outside has a little gazebo as you can see with once again a lot of bushes and flowers just to make it really uh, cute and lush and yeah the exterior is actually not really spectacular it's not a really um, manicured garden or anything just quite wild actually but I would just like to make it fit with the rest of the area so I think we could start talking about the inter because the inter is absolutely huge so there is this big entry hall which is like a foyer or I don't know how you can call it but it's really big with a big staircase with big paintings and mirrors then you have an access to the main living room which is absolutely beautiful this is probably my favorite room in the house once again it's a two level uh, ceiling you know I just um, deleted uh, the floor of the second floor and I tried once again to pop many details everywhere just to make it look really realistic. So next to this huge living room that you will see a bit later in a few minutes, there's um, a big corridor with the kitchen, the everyday uh, dining room if I can say, and the formal dining room which is absolutely huge and this is one of my favorite uh, rooms as well because I use a trick with those um, with those I don't know how you can call it this you know those are those um, kind of paneling I don't know how to call them um, made of uh, birch you know those uh, trees but you will see what I'm talking about when you'll see the dining room I think um, and the basement as well um, you have an access to the basement that I'm building right now though there's this home theater which is absolutely huge and I really love it like it looks really like a professional uh, home theater the only problem is that when your sims are inside they can't watch the TV from the balcony they have to go downstairs because um, on the wall the TV is located on the lower wall so um, yeah this is the only thing but it's not really important I think just to make it look grand and luxurious just on the opposite side there's the basketball court that you will see in a few seconds yeah it's here 
and once again it's a huge place with uh, a real basketball court where you can invite all your friends all your colleagues or I don't know what you can organize a tournament in your own house so it's pretty much awesome I think uh, and still in this room there is a big uh, area with big TVs and sofas just to look at sports with your friends so the idea of this house was really to have everything in the house like you don't have to go outside in the city to do whatever you want because everything is here because you will see just after that we are building a gym with uh, a lot of different machines so yeah you don't have to go outside to do whatever you want so yeah it's both um, like privilege like luxury but also um, I think if I was living in such a house I would have to go out just to go in the city or anything I couldn't uh, stay always in the same place so yeah having everything home doesn't mean you don't have to go outside this is allowed yeah <laughs> um, and also in the basement but you won't see it I did it after the record I had it I added sorry a um, bowling room with three bowling alleys with windows that uh, give you a view inside the pool the outside pool so it's the atmosphere is really special, I really like it, but you will see it later in the screenshots. So this was about the basement, um, and just before I was talking about the dining room, yeah, next to the dining room there's a spa with uh, a message table, a jacuzzi, a sauna, so there's everything you need in a really warm atmosphere with stone and wood, it's really a... Um, a room that I like and also next to this there's a big uh, study room with a fireplace um, some sofas a desk computer so everything you need to to work or to create everything you want oh yeah about the fireplaces I counted them but I don't remember now uh, but I think they're about 17 fireplaces in the house if I remember well yeah 17 something like this because there are fireplaces everywhere <laughs> uh, right now you can see that in the entry I'm trying some things with the chandeliers but it just doesn't look good so I used this big modern chandelier which is really impressive and dramatic and I just love it and I also put it in the living room that you will see just after that and so yeah I told you about one wing of the house the other wing is um, made of um, there's so many rooms I can't remember everything yeah there is a big entertainment house um, no room entertainment room sorry uh, with a bar a lounge area a big TV where you can play video games and also karaoke a chess table so yeah there's everything and yeah the only thing missing in this house would be um, a garage but we don't really need it or a ballroom probably or I don't know what could miss or probably a room just dedicated to the pets something I wanted to do but then um, I was like, no, it's not something that really exists uh, in such houses, it would look weird, so I just didn't do it. But there are um, carpets that are made for the pets uh, on several places of the house, so you can live here with your pets without any problems. Um, I think that's it for the first floor, so if we go upstairs, there are two wings once again. Uh, in total there are set, no, six bedrooms which are absolutely huge with a total of seven or eight no yeah eight or nine bedrooms bathrooms sorry and uh, four of the bedrooms have their own uh, walk-in closet so the, um, the biggest bedrooms there are like five 
yeah, five of them are really large, have their own bathroom and all, and also walk-in closet, and they were really um, stout as, um, you know, just like um, luxurious suites you can find in an hotel. This was the ID. They are all both in the same style, but and also different because um, they're all like em they're all empty like, but they have different colors, different furniture. But um, yeah, all together it's really harmonious. And the bedrooms are absolutely fantastic. And you almost don't need to go out of your bedroom as well because there's everything you need. There's a big um, bathroom. Most of the time there's a small living room area with a fireplace and some sofas and so on. So yeah, there's pretty much everything you need. Um, and also upstairs there are some little um, areas where you can see it, read a book, uh, like secondary living rooms. So you're probably wondering how much is worth this house. and. Actually, it's not as expensive as you could think because it is only, yeah, only worth uh, 680,000 simoleons, which is not huge compared to the size of the house and all what you can do inside. Because if you remember, I did the so called Beverly Hills Mansion, which was worth more than 1 million simoleons. It was um, even bigger than this one, and and also there was a um, a pool house which was really independent, and there was everything you needed in this. But yeah, um, and the only house that was worth more than one million, except Bill's mansion, was um, mm -hmm. what was it? can't remember. Oh no, this is a house that I built but which is not on the channel. I built it before I started uh, publishing video on YouTube. It was called um, Castle on the Water if I remember well. Yeah. And this castle was absolutely huge and once again it was inspired by a real home which is a real castle put on the water built in Florida if I remember well. This is actually a huge round pound pond 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 this is a pond so <laughs> this is a huge uh, circle pond and just in the center of this there is this big chateau just put here on top of the water and I recreated this and it was worth about uh, 1 million two thousand two hundred thousand simoleons which was absolutely huge and I remember in this castle there was even a bedroom under the water with windows that give you a view uh, inside the, the pool which is something crazy I think just like you know in those hotels in Dubai um, so yeah this house is not worth a million but it's quite expensive as well so if you don't use cheat codes I think you will have some troubles um, to afford this house because your sims would have to work like crazy and I think your sims would die before um, earning enough money to buy it so I would suggest you to use a cheat codes if you want to use this um, I think I told pretty much everything about this house um, there are many tricks that I use you can use in your house if you feel like uh, building something similar and yeah, feel free to use all the ideas that I use in this house because they're not all mine. You know, I watch a lot of speed builds and I get inspiration from pretty much uh, everywhere. So yeah, and I wanted to tell you more about the channel because we're no more than 4,400. I would like to say thank you for every to everyone and also welcome to all the new subscribers. So yeah, welcome and thank you for watching the videos, supporting me, commenting, this is so, so nice, like, I really like reading your comments. I don't rem I don't answer to all the comments because sometimes I don't have enough time, but I always read them all, and yeah, and I'm so happy about the videos because I'm always 
well, at least I feel like I'm always improving, like uh, in the way I design my houses, but also in the way I do the um, editing of the house and also the editing of the thumbnails, which for this video are changing because now there's not this big frame anymore with uh, in the right hand corner the um, Sims 4 logo. Actually, it's just the picture with the name of the house just uh, in the bottom. Just to make it look a bit more clean and also because I really like editing the thumbnails so um, I don't know it looks more beautiful without a frame or the Sinsful logo because Sinsful logo if you think about it it's pretty much useless because you know why you're here you're here to watch Sims 4 Speedbill so I don't have to say it is a Sims 4 Speedbill so yeah um, and the, sim the thumbnail of this video is really beautiful, I just like it and I really loved editing it so um, I was just wondering how amazing it would look if I had a really good PC with good graphics like the picture would be absolutely fantastic but yeah it's already cool and beautiful with the graphic card that I have which is actually not really a graphic card but anyway <laughs> um, yeah so and also I think you saw it on the beginning of the video if you're following all my videos there's something new there's this big um, no there's a small subscribe button which uh, makes a weird sound that I think it's really cool and yeah I've been talking for like 20 minutes for real and um, I couldn't think it was possible because <laughs> most of the time I don't know what I could say but yeah, I was inspired today. Um, the video is quite long actually, it's 27 minutes long and at first when I started editing the video there was like 5 hours of recorded videos and I was like oh my god it's gonna be so long so once it was um, made faster, like speed it, I don't know how you can say this, um, it was like 35 minute longs which was which was for me too long anyway so uh, I cut some some part of the records and also there are some bedrooms that you won't see in the video you will see it in the screenshots because I think it's boring to see seven bedrooms being furnished because once you've seen two or three or four I think it's enough so yeah I had to make choices just to make to make it a little bit shorter because who watch a 30 minute videos? I know there are people who do this, but most of the people don't have the time to watch a 30 minute video. I mean, 30 minutes is almost the time you need to watch a Netflix episode, so yeah. But if you are as interested in my videos as a Netflix episode, I'm really honored and thank you. Uh, I think this is gonna be one of the longest video I've done. Um, probably the people is mentioned yeah it was pretty long and also the California Chateau which was about 20 minutes long and also the millionaire villa which was so cool yeah and every day I see their comments about this villa and every day there are more views and the California Chateau and the millionaire villa have today more than 70,000 views which is absolutely crazy I mean, those two videos combined, they have about the half of all the views on my channel, so about three, 300,000. So yeah, this is pretty crazy and yeah, let's hope this video will have as much success as those uh, two other videos. Um, yeah, I think now I have said pretty much all what I had to say, so... Um, Thank you again for watching, I, I really enjoyed doing this video and I hope you really enjoy watching it and if you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time, bye!